Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and in this tutorial I will show you how to make this add-on in Blender using Python in the Blender text editor. I try to make it as simple as possible, so as always it's going to be uh, quick and easy. So let's get started. And if you want to get extra benefits like tutorial files, assets and your name in the titles, make sure to check out my Patreon link in the description. Okay, so start off by pressing X to delete the default cube. And then let's go into the scripting workspace. And before we begin, let's make sure to add the icon add-on. So that we can add some icons to the add-on. So we'll search for icon. And then enable it. The icon viewer. And then when you click on the icon viewer, we have all of the icons in Blender. And you can get the names for the icons so that we can add them into our add-on. Okay, so let's create a new script. And then go to View, Sidebar. And then I'm going to increase the font size so that you can see what I'm writing. And then next, we uh, need to import the Blender module so that we can use all of the uh, Blender functions and so on. And then from Random, we import randint, which we need for random numbers. And then we're going to add a for loop, which will repeat a block of code, uh, let's say uh, 100 times in uh, this case. And then add a colon so that we can uh, add the block of code. And then press Shift A in the viewport. And let's add a uh, UV sphere. And uh, let's add smooth shading as well. And then we can copy that code and uh, paste it into the uh, script. And then press tab to indent the uh, code so that we make sure it's uh, within the for loop. And then let's uh, set the uh, set location to I so that it uh, generates a lot of spheres upwards on the uh, set axis. And then press A then X to delete everything. And now we're going to add some random values to the script so that we get some variation. So let's um, add random scale first. So random and then random values between zero and uh, three. So rand int parentheses zero and then three. And then we can add some random values on the x, y, and z axis. So rand int uh, minus 40 to 40. And then copy. Then y equals rand int minus 40 to 40. And then for the set axis as well. And we will use these random values for the location. X, Y, and Z. And then for the radius, we will add the random scale. And radius is uh, sort of the same as the scale for uh, spheres. Okay, so let's run the scripts. As you can see, we get both uh, random scale between 0 and 3, as well as random locations between uh, minus 40 and 40 for all of the different axes. So uh, let's save the file, and you can save it where you want on the computer. Give the file a name, and then save. We can also play around with the different variables and get some different results. So just press A, then X to delete everything. And then let's try adding uh, 500 spheres, for example. As you can see, we get 500 spheres. So uh, we can also change the uh, random range on the uh, location. So let's set it to 60, for example. And then let's run the script. As you can see, it now goes from minus 60 to 60 on all axes. Okay, so let's press Control set to undo. And then it's finally time to start creating the buttons and the add on itself. So uh, let's just call this one random spheres. And this is the uh, lines that we will add into the button later. And then go to templates. And then uh, pick the uh, first one. And this is the uh, information that we need to create the add-on. 
So uh, let's delete the text all the way down to register. And we'll keep import BBY and uh, import operator. And then we can delete these lines below register and unregister. We're going to add some different lines later. And then we can change the uh, name of this text. So uh, let's just call it info. And the uh, BL info makes sure that the uh, add-on appears when we add the add-on in the uh, preferences. So uh, let's change the name. I'm just going to call it custom add-on. You can call it wherever you want. The author, that's you, so just type in your name. And the uh, Blender version doesn't really matter. Just keep it at 2.80. And uh, I'm going to uh, add a very basic description as well. And uh, then for the category, I'm just going to remove the text. And for this add-on, we're going to import two BPY types. The first one is the operator, which we need for the button. And the second one is the panel, so that we get the panel on the right side of the viewport. So when we press N. Okay, and then we also need to import the random. So uh, from random, import rand int. Okay. And then the next step is to uh, get the operator for the button. So uh, let's save before we continue. Click on the plus sign and then save. So if we get a separate blend file in case uh, something uh, goes wrong. And then go into the templates. And then we're going to uh, select the uh, simple operator template. And then we're going to use some of that code. It's always useful to use templates to speed up your workflow. And then let's copy this part. And then go back to the info text. And then paste the code. And we do not need all of this, so let's um, delete the uh, pool. And then I'm going to rename the operator. I'm just going to call it button operator. And then let's uh, rename the ID name as well. So I'm just going to call it random. And I will change this one later. We actually need a uh, point as well. And we can also delete the main context. And then we need to copy the uh, random code into the uh, operator so that we uh, get this code when we uh, click on the button. And then select the lower part of the code and then press tab two times to indent so that it's part of the uh, for loop and the uh, button operator. And then let's save before we continue. So uh, save as, click on the plus sign and then save. And then we need to add dot one to the uh, Blender ID name or BL ID name, so random dot one. And then let's add another template, the uh, simple panel templates. And then we can copy the uh, panel. So let's copy these lines and then go back to the info text and then paste it. And then we can change the name of the panel to uh, Let's uh, call it custom panel, for example. The name doesn't really matter. Then I'm going to remove this text. And then let's change the name of the panel. So I'm just going to call it random panel. And then set the ID name to uh, random. And then the space type to view 3D. And then UI, so we get the panel on the right side of the viewport. And then let's change it to BL category. And here we can set the name for the add on in the panel. So uh, let's call it random spheres, for example. And then let's uh, change the uh, row.label to row.operator. And then we can add the operator above into the panel. So uh, let's add button operator. And then you also need to type 
dot bl underscore id name and then comma and then I'm going to change the text to uh, generate and this is the text on the button and then we need to add an icon to the button as well so uh, let's use the icon viewer and select one of them then copy the text and then paste it into the operator okay and then next we need to register and unregister the add-on so let's just save before we continue and uh, registering and unregistering is just a part of every add-on so uh, we first need to uh, import the uh, register and unregister from bby.utils so register class and then unregister and then we need to list the uh, classes that we need to uh, register and unregister so classes equals and then uh, let's type in the uh, first one so press tab to indent and then button operator and then we also need to add the panel so we'll custom panel and then next we need to register and unregister those uh, classes and for that we're going to use a uh, for loop so uh, let's start off with register so for and then cls in and then classes and then inside that for loop we're going to register the uh, two classes using CLS and then copy and paste the for loop into unregister and then change it to unregister and then we can run the uh, script so click on the play button and then press N and as you can see we have the add-on so uh, let's save one more time and then we just need to do one more thing and that is to go to text and then save as and give the uh, file a name I'm just going to call it random spheres dot py which is for Python and then we need to uh, go into the folder and then zip the file so that we can add the add-on in the preferences so uh, select zip then OK and then we can uh, quit Blender and then go back into Blender once again and then go to uh, Edit Preferences and then Install and then select the zip file wherever you saved it on your computer So uh, select the zip file and then install add-on and then enable the add-on and then let's go into the viewport press X to delete the default cube and then click on generate and as you can see we generated a lot of spheres and that's the uh, simplest way to create a add-on in Blender and more tutorials coming soon Thank you Terry Davis for supporting the channel on Patreon.